Patty Tractor fans, thanks for tuning in today. We've got a kind of different video. Uh, we're going to be talking about a cement mixer. Uh, this is the Harbor Freight three and a half cubic foot cement mixer. It is part number or item number 67536. I purchased this uh, with a 25% off coupon. Uh, you can occasionally find those and uh, you get a pretty good deal on this. I think I paid about 150 bucks for the cement mixer. So I wanted to accomplish a few things with this video. One is uh, to explain why I bought one of these versus just rent one, because uh, you know they're readily available in a rental center. Um, they're usually fairly reasonably priced, but uh, uh, I want to explain my rationale around that, and also to add um, some details around the mixer itself. I found a few videos online about this particular mixer, but they generally don't go into a lot of detail about how it works and and uh, you know what what um, what they think of it so wanted to do just a quick review and uh, put this out there for uh, uh, hopefully it'll help somebody the assembly of the cement mixer is quite difficult as I had mentioned the uh, biggest problem that I had when I was putting this thing together was that the, uh, the labeling of the bolts um, and the instructions were not completely in sync. So it was almost like they had two, uh, you know, a later printing of the instructions and the bolts and nuts that you need to put this thing together and screws uh, were labeled a little bit differently. So that's what I struggled with the most. Also, uh, the instructions were very unclear on how to attach the top and the bottom sections of the, um, the mixing bucket. Um, in some of these shots, you'll notice some arrows that um, are on a sticker on the outside of the bucket. You're supposed to align those arrows to make sure that the uh, inside mixing paddles are aligned correctly. Uh, the instructions are very unclear about how that works. And by the time you get these two sections together, um, it is very difficult to make adjustments to that. So um, that was one of the biggest things I struggled with. But uh, overall, it just is a time-consuming process to put this thing together, and the instructions certainly don't help you. Okay, let's talk about a few properties of the cement mixer. First of all, it's electrically powered. It has a, a standard off-the-shelf 110-volt electric motor, which is then geared down uh, via a pulley and a belt uh, to turn the drum of the cement mixer. And a lot of the noise that you hear uh, when the cement mixer running is that uh, gear-driven action uh, from the electrical motor uh, and the pulleys. Uh, there's actual gear that turns the back of the drum and it's a metal on metal contact which uh, creates a fair bit of noise. Um, all the parts are fairly standard. You should be able to find replacements if need be uh, without too much trouble. And uh, the drum itself turns at approximately 33 RPM which is fairly standard for a cement mixer. Alright, well let's talk about capacity. Obviously it's a three and a half cubic foot uh, capacity mixing drum. Uh, what that means in, in real world terms as far as uh, mixing concrete is that I can get about two 80 pound bags of concrete in the mixer at one time or about three 60 pound bags and um, so you're, you're making a pretty good um, uh, amount of concrete when you're pushing three 60 pound bags um, of concrete but it does get pretty heavy so uh, you have to watch that a little bit. Um, haven't had any problems with it becoming unstable while it's mixing, but uh, you know the more weight you're putting in, obviously you need to keep an eye on that. Just a quick note on safety: uh, you should wear a face mask when you're doing this. Um, I am making an attempt in these, uh, as you can see here, to actually stay um, upwind of any of the dust, and uh, on you know depending on how the wind is on. A, when you're mixing with this thing, uh, that can be a very difficult task, especially if you're, you know, indoors or something like that. You you need to wear a face mask. The uh, other thing is uh, wearing gloves when you're um, working with concrete. Concrete is a very base material, um, and it will dry out your skin in a heartbeat. Uh, one thing you can do, I've found, um, after you've been working with concrete for a while, is if you use some uh, white vinegar when you're uh, rinsing your hands off. It'll get, uh, it'll neutralize some of that base and uh, uh, get your skin back to normal. 
So why buy one of these? It's a pretty good question. Um, the biggest issue, obviously, is the price. Uh, you can get one of these new with a uh, with a coupon at Harbor Freight for about 150 bucks. You compare that to the rental fees at most of the big box rental uh, stores, and you're talking about uh, you know anywhere from 75 to 200 dollars a week in rental fees, um, and you just just doesn't make sense if your project's going to take over a week uh, or it's going to take even close to a week and you might have a few other projects you want to get done it really makes sense to go ahead and buy one of these um, the other part of this uh, from a financial equation is that when you're done with it you can usually sell these things for you know uh, 100 bucks 75 bucks on craigslist i did not find any on craigslist i would have bought one used had i had found one but um, I just didn't find any concrete mixers that were reasonably priced on Craigslist um, before I purchased this thing new at Harbor Freight. So um, mathematically, it works out to, you know, uh, I'm going to get a lot of use out of this thing, and it's probably going to cost me uh, 50 bucks um, for my usage of this thing by the time I end up selling it. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, you know, it may not make sense in all situations. If you have a weekend project that will um, you know, take you a day, it may make, may make more sense to just uh, rent one. Well, I hope the video has been informative and uh, has given you a good overview of this little cement mixer. It's a neat little tool and uh, it's re really been handy for some of my projects around the house. I've got a few uh, out at the farm as well that I'll be using this thing for and it's uh, you know, it definitely paid for itself. Anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe, thumbs up if you like what you see, and I uh, hope the video has helped somebody out there.